to go to alpha 2 actions. Right, what are the alpha 2 actions? In the last lecture, I told you a lot about alpha 2 receptors. Number 1, alpha 2 receptors were present pre synaptically in the neurons. If it is an energetic neuron, I suppose it is releasing norepinephrine on the target tissue, right? A part of the norepinephrine, yes, part of the norepinephrine act as a negative feedback on the presynaptic receptors. This presynaptic receptor is, yes please, alpha 2 adrenergic receptors, right? And when norepinephrine stimulate alpha 2, presynaptic alpha 2 receptors, they inhibit the nerve ending function and further release of norepinephrine is inhibited. Further release of, so alpha 2 receptors which are present presynaptically are release inhibitor for sympathetic nerve endings, right? So, alpha 2 receptors which are presynaptically, presynaptic, right? Alpha 2 adrenergic receptor will lead to, yes, will lead to reduced norepinephrine release from the nerve ending of course. This is one action of alpha 2 adrenergic receptor. What is the another action of alpha 2 adrenergic receptor? Yes, alpha 2 adrenergic receptors are also present on insulin producing cells. Insulin is produced by which cells? I think you must be remembering there is something called pancreas and in the pancreas there are islets of Langerhans. In the islets of Langerhans there are beta cells and beta cells of islets of Langerhans have alpha receptors. Beta cells of islets of Langerhans have alpha 2 receptors. Suppose this is the beta cell, right, which is normally responsible to produce, yes, insulin. But this cell is loaded with alpha 2 adrenergic receptors. So, whenever these alpha 2 receptors are stimulated, they are again linked with G inhibitory protein intracellularly and they inhibit the function of beta cells of pancreas and insulin release is inhibited. So, they reduce the release of norepinephrine, they also reduce the release of, yes, release of insulin, right, they re reduce the release of insulin. Then any other function of uh, alpha 2 receptors, you know on the lipocyte, adipocytes, this is adipocyte and adipocytes you may be remembering they have beta 3 receptors, beta 3 adrenergic receptors which are modified beta 1 receptors, right. But actually only very good students know that lipocytes also have alpha 2 adrenergic receptors. Right? Actually, when you stimulate the beta 2 adrenergic receptors, right, it, it increases lipolysis. It increases lipolysis. But when you stimulate alpha 2 adrenergic receptors, it will decrease lipolysis. So, it means on the adipocytes, right, there are alpha 2 adrenergic receptors as well as beta 3 adrenergic receptors. Beta 3 adrenergic receptors are stimulatory for lipolysis and alpha 2 receptors are inhibitory to lipolysis. So, naturally if you cannot remember both type of receptors, forget about alpha 2 but please remember beta 3 adrenergic receptors which are more important, right. But if you are really too good, you must remember that on the adipocytes or lipocyte, there are adrenergic stimulatory receptors beta 3 and adrenergic inhibitory receptors alpha 2. So, it releases, it reduces, yes, lipolysis of lipo lipolysis from adipocyte. Then any other function of alpha 2 receptor, if alpha 2 receptors are stimulated again, when alpha 2 receptors are stimulated, nerve endings release less norepinephrine. Beta cells release less insulin, adipocytes release 
less free fatty acid and when alpha 2 receptors are stimulated right she is saying blood pressure alpha 2 stimulant uh, which drug you are talking about clonidine I think clonidine act in central nervous system stimulate alpha 2 receptor and reduce sympathetic outflow that is by reducing the norepinephrine release right we will talk about that later. Uh, alpha 2 receptors are also present at one some part of the body or some components of the body where nerve endings are not releasing norepinephrine. Alpha 2 receptors are present ok I will give you a hint alpha 2 receptors are present on some components of the blood yeah platelets yes very good excellent. So, alpha 2 receptors are also present on the platelets right these there are alpha 2 adrenergic receptors and when they are stimulated yes when alpha 2 receptors are stimulated on the platelets platelets get activated and you know activated platelets undergo clumping aggregation right. So, alpha 2 receptor stimulation can lead to platelets aggregation they can lead to platelets aggregation right. So, what can we do you know pharmacologically we have drugs which can block the alpha 2 receptors right and reduce the platelet aggregation they are still working to make some more efficient drugs to reduce the platelet aggregation right. So, again let us compare fastly if someone asks what are the alpha 1 action arterial construction veno construction stimulation of yes prostate smooth muscle and internal internal urethral sphincter plus midriasis plus pile erection right that is good. Alpha 2 action alpha 2 actions are reduced norepinephrine release from the sympathetic nerve endings reduce release of insulin reduce lipolysis by beta cells and increased aggregation of the platelets. Let us have a break.